And the big, medium, and small cheesecakes have just come out of the oven, and I want you to be 100% honest with me. How sexy do these cheesecakes look? Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in, and welcome back to another episode of Carnivore Kitchen. Steven here with Team Euphoric, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make over four pounds of delicious cheesecake with over 300 grams of protein. You're going to need either a stand mixer or an electric hand blender, and what you want to do is you want to take 10 whole eggs, 500 grams of cottage cheese, 125 grams of plain cream cheese, and two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract, or if you want to be super carnivore, you can leave out the pure vanilla extract, and you want to turn the blender on on a low setting and gradually build up the speed to medium so you don't make a disaster. Then, once all of that has been well combined, what you want to do is turn the blender off and you are going to add 100 grams of whey protein isolate. You could use either unflavored or vanilla. If you want to really bring out the cheesecake flavor, I recommend using plain. And you want to add 75 grams of beef gelatin. You want to take a spatula and mix it until it's well combined and then turn on the blender. This is very important if you want to avoid a disaster in the kitchen. We interrupt the scheduled broadcasting to bring you an important update. I ended up picking up this 100% grass fed raspberry cheesecake whey protein isolate to make this cheesecake right over here and it came out absolutely delicious. If you guys do happen to have any type of cheesecake protein powder where you live, I live in Canada and unfortunately they don't ship to the US, but go and try find one that is in your area because if you do add some cheesecake protein powder to make the carnivore cheesecake, it is going to come out delicious. Now, back to our regular scheduled programming. Then you could gradually start to build up the speed of the blender until you are able to get a good mix going without causing anything to spill over. Once all of that has been set, what you want to do is you are going to transfer it into a large container and put it in the fridge while you do all of your cleanup and prepare for the next step. The next step is going to be the stiffened egg white batter, which you guys should know by now. You're going to take 500 grams of egg whites, and on a low to medium setting, what you want to do is whisk it until it becomes frothy. Once frothy, you want to add 2 teaspoons cream of tartar, 2 teaspoons baking powder, and half a teaspoon of Himalayan salt. Then you want to turn the blender on a high setting and you want to whisk it for roughly five minutes until stiff peaks have formed. And as you know, if you have stiff peaks, you should be able to pour the batter over your head and it should not come out of the bowl. Once your stiff peaks have been formed, you're going to take the cheesecake batter that's been sitting in the fridge and you want to take one spatula full of the egg white mixture and you are going to slowly incorporate it into the rest. And then what you want to do is just continue to do that until all of the egg whites have been incorporated into the cheesecake mixture. You are then going to take a cheesecake crust and you are going to put it inside of a springform pan. And if you're not sure how to make it, you could check the video from last week in the top right corner. And you want to add the mixture over top and evenly spread it until you have reached the top of the springform pan. You are then going to put it in the oven and let it bake at 350 degrees for 35 minutes. After 35 minutes has passed, you're going to shut the oven off and you're going to let the cheesecake rest inside of the oven for an additional 20 minutes. And once it's finished baking, it should come out nice and golden brown. And now it's time for the good, the bad, and the ugly. The good is that these taste absolutely delicious and also they are very, very soft. And you could also make them very, very versatile. You can eat these as mini cheesecakes or you could even turn these into something like burger buns or spread some cream cheese inside to make it extra cheesy. And then with regard to the bad, if you end up putting it in the springform pan with the parchment paper, it is going to collapse a little bit. But overall, what you can do is just cut around the edges and then it'll look more like cheesecake. That's another thing. It doesn't really look like cheesecake because of the color, coloring on it, but if you cut all the way around it and then slice off the top, it will look exactly like cheesecake. And then the crust is also delicious. As you can see, it's not rock hard, but it's not super soft either. It is gonna have a nice crusty texture to it. It's gonna be pretty firm and it is going to have a nice bread-like consistency to it. So if you are looking for cheesecake or if you are looking for something to snack on, you can make these mini ones. If you're looking for a one serving type deal, this one right over here is just over six inches. And then if you are making something for a party or a get together, this is a nine inch right over here. But overall, all of this, it's just over four pounds worth of cheesecake and there's a little bit over 300 grams of protein. So if you are looking to build muscle, lose weight, this is gonna be a terrific recipe that you can incorporate into your diet plan. Thanks for hanging around until the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like the video and comment down in the comment section as it would really help out with the algorithm. And also share this video so we can help get this information out to as many people as possible. 
And also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the icon in the bottom right hand corner and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the videos. For those of you interested in health optimization, you can check out the video in the top right corner where I discuss the six foundation principles. And for those of you interested in optimizing your performance, then consider becoming a member. It's only $5 per month and you get a ton of perks including exclusive access to this program design lecture series playlist above my head.